you know, it's just not working, I'm quitting, giving up. There's so many reasons why I should quit. Well, I would tell them that it's video that killed the real life activists. Some things you don't know about. More about people. From my male studies I've been doing recently, it seems like asshole behavior is natural. People respect it more. But I'm on a higher plane. Let's see, I'm smart, I'm nice, I'm decent. All this is unnatural. And people don't recognize it, don't accept it. This is just a theory. It's true for some people, if you think about it. Maybe that's related to why I'm not successful in this world, while total scumbags like Donald Trump are surrounded by money, women, and even people that hate him, like Romney and Cruz. Most people are just bad people, and they all flock together. And they don't like good people. For instance, time to plug another one of my videos. The video about a protester being hit by a car. This video is sort of going viral, and it's from all the haters watching. This video is still getting views and still getting comments, and each one of them is extremely hateful and calling for violence. Check it out. It's to the point where I don't even look anymore at the new comments. I want to say that I will still hold true to my promise to never go away completely. There will be times when something comes up and I really feel that I should make a video about it. I don't feel like doing it. And of course, you know how to bring me back. I've explained this before. I'll still be writing. And I got my website, which I could work on. So I guess I'll be blogging. Let's take a look at some of my better moments on YouTube. He's 43 years old. Looks beautiful at 43. <laughs> a lot of people think that's good. And sure, she looks good on TV. I'm about five years older than she is. I don't have that sagging. Put on something skimpy, because you know that's what my viewers want to see. And speaking of psychosis, this is the true Hollywood story of Freely. This is a true rags to riches story. It all began humbly enough in rural Australia, having a typical childhood and segueing into homelessness. Things are completely different on YouTube than they were five years ago. For one thing, it's, it's super crowded. Another thing, it's crowded with basic bitch videos. That is the high fruit lifestyle. Like my video about freely going Hollywood, making fun of the rumor, the people still believed it. Hey, On to our feature presentation, hey, Hannah and Vegan Cheetah. Yeah. We've got the footage for you coming up. What you're gonna see here is the cheetah is trying to get Tana on his side. And he wants his channel up. I wanna hear from the viewers. This just makes me think of a particular Twilight Zone episode. Submitted for your indulgement. Witness a man plagued by worry, suspicion, and doubt. The following story combines clips from Vegan Cheetah's current videos and footage of his teen years. They tell of a man on the verge of vlogging right into the Twilight Zone. The real enemies are other vegans. You can kind of see just how in the physical and the, in the body language. What do you mean? You, know, you can see that Freely is distancing herself from from during Ryder, during Ryder's doing the third world squat on the concrete. Um, it's just very weird, man. I mean, what are you talking about? They don't want us to leave. What makes you say that? Where'd you get that idea? Isn't that the craziest thing you've ever heard? It's always that way in every story I've ever read. Is it possible that the speculations are true? He always was an odd boy. That during Ryder did something to Fixie, Fixie was getting in the way. I don't know. Why don't we go downtown and check with the police? Well, they'll probably think we're crazy or something. Maybe that's a sign there's something wrong with Harley. Still no proof that Figsy is alive. 
most of our haters actually in, in, around the world come from probably Sydney. And some of those haters may just work for the Justice Department. Judges, lawyers, the police. They're, 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 they're basically a prison here. Did you hear that? I had a stalker come to my house. It should be hard to find her address. That's the case with all of us YouTubers. We have to keep these secret. Otherwise, you know. <sighs> Am I going to file a restraining order? The answer is most likely yes. Not just to him. Perhaps a few others as well. This person came from Canada to see me. Canada? <sighs> Who do we know in Canada? We see that I'm not getting many views, yet there's crappy channels out there that are getting huge views and they're just skyrocketing. Now how does that work? They're more on the public. Well, the way people don't stick around, even some of my biggest fans just disappear. For instance, there's Vegan Jerry. I think he even bought my book, but he's suddenly gone. That doesn't look good for my book. And you would think that my songs would get interest. You know, I pick up the guitar and start singing about fruit, but then my audience retention just takes a little dip. I guess people don't want to hear a song unless there's some lies in it. Yeah, it's not very likely that a song's going to have lies and drama in it. At least a slow acoustic song. Okay, another theory is that I'm too realistic. I present real drama in my videos. And maybe people don't want things to be too real. I heard someone say that people come to YouTube to escape, but that never hurt some of the big vegans before. I think that's what helped. It keeps you coming back. It worked for me. I'm tired of trying to figure people out. So to wrap things up, I said that my channel has failed here, meaning it's failed to get popular or to get views. But have I failed? Or has YouTube failed me? Or has the public failed me? I always remember to look for the positive. So, is there actually a victory here? Has my channel served to not only teach people things that I'm trying to teach, but inadvertently teaching them other things? Like how it goes on YouTube and in real life. And like how that old saying, do the right things, the right things will happen to you. I don't know why people ever believed that or taught that to people. And have I been personally victorious? When I think about where I came from, from just trying to survive and try to fix all of the problems I used to have, to accomplishing what I've done here on this channel, the kick-ass work that I've done here on this channel speaks volumes. Let's take a look at some of my better moments. You probably heard the story about Bill Clinton giving up his vegan diet and going paleo. The story is not true. New York Times. He tells the Clintons how to lose a little. Dr. Mark Hyman. Have you heard of that name? Now here's a quote from, see it's not from Clinton, it's from Hyman. It's hard being a vegan to eat enough good quality protein and not have too much starch. Dr. Hyman said, I know a lot of fat vegans. Once again, we have this expert who sounds exactly like the faceless Facebook anti-vegan trolls. They say the exact same stupid stuff. Well, I know a lot of fat vegans, so therefore... That's pro-science. Dr. Hyman, who made a name for himself advising them, met Mrs. Clinton at a fundraiser in New York. Hey, there's New York again. The newspaper reported... See what they're trying to do here? And notice, we still haven't had a quote from any of the Clintons here. Please Call it the Clinton clans. That is pure manipulation. He is the master. He is the master of all the low-carb scammers out there. They're all like this. Oh, but I'm not done yet. No, oh, I'm just getting into high gear. It's video that killed the real life activists.
This article is from the New York Times. I happen to recall a story they put on their newspaper about the French couple who killed their baby. Sound familiar? That was seven years ago. New York Times. Death by veganism. On my recent book tour, Mo Money, Mo Money. He is kind of veganish. Vegan to the point that he doesn't eat any meat. Okay. He doesn't eat any dairy, but he does have fish. Go vegan and find your potential. <laughs> I've been personally victorious. Accomplishing what I've done, the kick-ass work that I've done here on this channel, speaks volumes, but only when people watch them. So it's up to the few viewers I've had to just remember.